Hi guys. Um, we are here today with a foundation review. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. I am finally at a point with my other foundation that I am far enough gone that this is going to be done soon so I can try a new one. And I got the color 170. I did swatch it on my hand last night. It looks like it's going to be a pretty good match. I'm very excited. Um, I thought about... I'm actually supposed to shake it. I thought about picking this up the when it launched because it was out for the like the fall holiday preview sale and like I looked at it and I gave it some good thought but it had some ingredients that off the bat didn't sound like they were going to be the best for my skin my skin doesn't like silicone but they've tempted me I've seen enough reviews about how amazing this is for oily skin and how amazingly dry it is and matte and fantastic so I want to do it I have everything set up so I'm going to do the two-sided test thing. I have a brush. This is the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. And I have a beauty blender, which I haven't used in a while because I've been using this brush. So, I'm excited. I'm going to be using some primers because I always use primers. And based on how it dried on my hand last night, I might not need to powder it, but I probably will just out of fear. Because my skin is very oily. Super oily. So I always put my under eye eyeshadow primer on first. Because otherwise it will lift the foundation when I go to put it there. If I don't do primer, my eyeshadow under my eyes will shift around and fade a lot. So. All of you lovely people who don't need primer or it doesn't make a difference or can you just throw some concealer down and it actually grabs your product and stays? I'm jealous of you people. My skin doesn't hold anything at all. So then I go in with my NYX First Base Primer Spray. And I use way too much. But I actually do really like this. It's uh, water-based, so it doesn't have any oils or anything sticking down on it. And it mainly uses cornstarch to keep you matte, which has worked well. Okay, which one do I want first? I think I'm going to do this half with the brush. Do, do, do. So I did shake it well. Um, it is 1.08 ounces, which is about the standard size for foundation. And I just put my foundation on my brush and then go at my face. So let's see how that works. pretty darn well. I do also run it pretty close under my eyes because I don't do concealer. And um... It doesn't seem to be particularly um... liney. It does seem to be drying pretty quickly but blending into my skin pretty well. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit to get this part of my forehead. Just because otherwise I will forget and be like, what am I doing on my forehead? Nobody knows. I think this is a pretty good color match, especially going into um, the winter. Yeah, so half on, half off. A little bit more pink because my skin shows a lot of redness, but that looks nice. That feels like it's already dried down. It's very nice. Okay, so Beauty Blender on the other side. I'm do about a pump and a half. This is about what I did on the other side. And kapow. Oh, that's so weird. I haven't done this in so long. Oh, that's a really nice finish. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm 
Okay. Um, so... This is higher coverage, but this looks a lot more just like skin. Like really nice, even skin. It does look like it absorbed some of the product, but that's just what beauty blenders do. I'm about to get this half of my forehead. Because I think she sold it with a brush. Make sure I'm getting my nose. All the little side bits. Yeah, it's the only thing I remember not particularly loving about the Beauty Blender. It's like this side of my nose is nice and in, and whereas this one like almost has a bit missing. Okay, um, that looks really, really nice. As you can see, it's almost already matting down, getting very dry. Oh no, oh no! A little bit dripped up at a spout. So I guess I'll just take that my nose pour on that one side. Under my eye, like you do. What are you? I don't know. You're gone now. Okay, so yes, my face feels very even and well covered. Um, so I guess if you wanted a little higher coverage, brush helps. But if you want to really look like skin, Beauty Blender does a nice job. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will check in um, I think I'll check in when I set my foundation and then once my face is done and then we'll see where we're going from there. See you guys in a bit. Okay, not much has happened because I just put on some cream blush and I'm going to set my face with RCMA No Color Powder. I have a little bit left. I'm still a little sassy because the powder I switched to I don't like, but it's not bad enough for me to get rid of it. So I'm just going to pick up some RCMA No Color Powder and just dust my face. Honestly, this foundation probably doesn't need it. Unless you're like super oily. Because it did kind of dry down to a very matte powdery finish. It's not grabbing the powder the way like an unset foundation would. It's just sitting nicely on top, making sure there's no grabby bits. It looks the same to you guys, doesn't it? Okay. Foundation is set with powder and it looks kind of the same. Which is nice. It means it's a very matte foundation. Okay. Finished face. Um, you know, I have my highlights, so that's probably the most you're going to see shine wise everything's still really set down and matte um it is now about 145 the foundation itself went on around one so let's see how it wears okay check in number one it's about five o'clock uh, my sister and i went and did some errands and stuff and be playing with my niece and nephew downstairs and as you can see uh we're getting like to more of a satin demi matte finish but it's been on for four hours and this is very nice. Normally I'm starting to get shiny um, kind of by lunchtime, so four to five hours into wearing. And this is really nice, especially because I don't think it picked up much of the powder, so most of this matteness is from the foundation itself. So yeah, it's still looking nice and I got a lot of compliments on my makeup while we we're out, so. Okay, it's almost 10 at night. And I would like to wear this longer to give it a good chance to see how it's going to do. It's like I'm getting the beginning of some shine in certain places, but I'm tired and I want to take my face off and take a bath. So I have to take my foundation off. I will probably do a check-in tomorrow to see if I have any surprise zits, but I want to take this off. So this is nine hours of wear. Uh, nothing's patching off other than I... It picked through to a zit there, 
um, like it's starting to get like a little bit of sheen, but for nine hours, this is pretty good with my oily skin. But I want to bed. I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. So I have to wash my face off. So I may have um, not checked in after using the Fenty foundation and then just started using it for like a month or so. So this is my skin in the morning. I've been using it consistently. I haven't had any new breakouts. It just it just looks like skin. So <laughs> I guess that's the finale. I'm sorry that I didn't give you guys more efficient information, but it's just it's really nice and I just happened to run out of my other foundation, so I started using it and I kept washing my face and getting ready instead of doing a check-in with how my skin is holding up underneath the foundation because it didn't seem like a problem because my skin was not having problems. My skin likes this foundation. So, there we go. Sorry that it took me so long to make this video and now it's much more in-depth. <laughs> um, yeah, I will follow up if I have any issues with it in um, once I'm done with it doing a thoughts at the end video. I do know that one of my friends, she was further into her bottle than I was, and she said she got some issues with the texture when she got past the halfway, like it got kind of thick. So I've been like making sure to shake mine so that it gets fully mixed, so it's not like leaving thicker products at the bottom of the bottle, if that makes any sense. And we'll see if I have that problem. But yeah, for now, I like this foundation. It sits nicely on my skin. It's not irritating my skin. And I like it. So, thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe and click the notifications, then you will actually know when I put up stuff like this. Because I don't even know when I'm going to get to stuff like this. Because this took me quite a long time. I'm sorry for the sounds. There are, there are guys climbing around on the roof and clearing uh, the leaves out of our gutters. But they're doing it with leaf blowers at like 9 in the morning. I don't like it. I don't like it. So, I'm going to go hide from them because they keep going past the windows whenever they're laddering up to the roof. And I'm not exactly decent. I'm more decent than I was ten minutes ago. <laughs> and i got to go and hide from them. Thanks for watching.